guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here welcome my name is Brianna and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make any photo into a Polaroid picture the fun part about this video is that it was my first ever requested video so what does that mean well basically for the first time someone requested something in the comments and it happened to be how you make your Polaroid wall and those are actually fake Polaroids so I thought I'd make a video on how I make my fake Polaroids so Polaroid cameras can be anywhere between like $40 and $100 depends if you get the mini one or the regular sized one so I'm gonna show you guys today how you can make any photo you've already taken or just a brand new photo that you want to take right now into a Polaroid from your phone or from your computer so the only thing you need for this is an iPhone or a smartphone basically anything that can hold these apps that I'm gonna tell you about if you don't have a smartphone and you don't have a tablet or anything to take pictures on you can also just use like a camera and then upload them to your computer and then, and then I'll show you how you can make Polaroid pictures on your laptop as well. So if you're interested in seeing how I make all of these fake Polaroids from my iPhone, then keep watching. I'm gonna start by talking about a couple of the apps that I have on my iPhone that you can also get to make any picture into a Polaroid. So I'm gonna have my phone right here and show you guys what exactly I am doing on my phone. So the first app I'm gonna talk about is called Retro Cam. And the reason why I'm starting off with this one is because it's like an editing app. So I'm just gonna scroll back to the pictures that I took during New Year's Eve. I'm just gonna pick this one. And so basically what you can do in this app is make like retro themed like little stickers or overlays so the first thing I'm going to show you is what they call an over light I call it an overlay because it's like going onto your picture as you can see but let's say I chose like a6 there's a little red light up there and then maybe I like a9 there's a little light there we're gonna go with a3 because it's just like a little light on the side and it just looks cute and retro so I'm gonna save that and then I'm going to add a texture. As you can see, there are many different options. I'm just gonna pick one of these. A8 looks pretty soft, so I'm gonna pick that. And you can just see it adds just like a little bit like of a film on top. And then I'm gonna go to themes and then you can switch out all the themes. I obviously don't pay for this app. You can and you can get more themes, but there's just like five or six of them that you get for free. So I'm just gonna pick T2, why not? We're gonna go with that one. And then also on this app, you can do filters, um, you can add more textures, and you can also add a frame. But for now, I'm just gonna save that, and then I'm going to go to the next app. Now, like I said, that app is made for photos that you've already taken, so that's why I edited a photo that I already took from New Year's Eve. And the next app I'm gonna talk about is called Nomo. So Nomo is also for um, pictures that you've already taken, but you can also take photos from it. So as you can see on my screen, it has a little camera. You can see my setup and this is what I'm facing right now and I could just take a picture of it just like that. And then if I go to the bottom right hand corner, I can go to that photo and the cool thing about it is if I click on the photo and shake, it's like you're shaking it like a normal Polaroid just to get it to become like the real photo faster. It's really clever and funny, but I'm just gonna shake it to make it get brighter. So as you can see, this is what the photo turned out to be, nothing great. So what's different about this app compared to the other ones I'm gonna be showing you is that this app actually has a built-in filter. So if you just wanna take a picture of like you could take a selfie or whatever's in front of you it's gonna put a built-on filter and then you don't have to edit it at all as you can see this photo is one that I already had taken and then I uploaded it to here and it kind of looks funny because I edited it before I put it on here and so with the built-on filter it looks really weird with how I edited it so it kind of depends it's up to you if you want to take a picture directly from this app or if you want to upload one and not edit it because it will put that built-on little vintage looking film so that is is all about the Nomo app. Basically, you can take a picture or you can upload your own. It will have a built-on filter. You can add a flash if you want, and then all you have to do is save the picture, and it looks the most realistic out of any of the apps that I have found. So I would say this app is one of the most realistic ways to make fake Polaroids. And then the last app I'm gonna be talking about is called Instance, and I would suggest this app for photos that you've already taken because it doesn't add that film on top like the Nomo app does. So basically, if I hit this 
add from albums little button I can pick the photo that I edited from New Year's so we're gonna pick that one and as you can see I can choose which Polaroid layout I want to have on here so I'm gonna pick the third one looks to be the most realistic I'm gonna hit done and the nice thing about this one is that you can add a text to it so I'm gonna just say New Year's Eve and then just add like a party emoji and it looks so realistic to the real Polaroid another thing you can do with this app is you can add a background color so I could change it to like pink or blue or purple instead of the white so let's just say I like the pinkish colors I'm just gonna pick that one and then that is what it would look like I can also just add any photo that I have not edited to this app because there's also an edit button and then there's a bunch of presets that you can pick from and then obviously all you have to do is save that photo and then print it out and then that would be just like a regular Polaroid so just to recap the apps that I talked about the retro cam is basically just an editing app for making retro themed photos the instance app is what you would use to add those photos onto a Polaroid PNG and then the Nomo app is one that you can actually take a Polaroid from your phone instead of uploading a photo that you've already taken the only downside to Nomo is that it does have an automatic film that it puts on top if you already added an edited photo it might look even more weird because you're gonna have the edit that you have on the photo plus the edit that the app automatically puts onto it so those are the three apps that I use to make my fake Polaroids and now I'm gonna show you the second option if you don't have a smartphone and that you could use on your laptop. Okay, so now I have my laptop in front of me, so that's what I'm gonna be looking at. But basically what I do to make my fake Polaroids on my laptop, and I actually use my laptop even if I do have a phone because how else am I supposed to print them out? Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to open up PowerPoint. And the reason I do this is just because it's like a horizontal page and it works better with the Polaroids. So what I did is I hit layout and then I clicked on the blank option so that there aren't any like preset title slides. And so say you do have a smartphone and you want to print those Polaroids out, all you have to do is simply airdrop those photos onto your presentation PowerPoint, print them off, cut them out. Say you do have a smartphone and you don't like the layouts that these apps give, you can also just airdrop regular photos and then I'm gonna show you how you can get a cool background from Google. Okay, so the first thing I am doing is just airdropping a couple photos from my iPhone to my computer that I have not edited or put a Polaroid background on. So then I'm gonna put those photos into the PowerPoint so that I can show you how to make a cool background. Obviously these are way too big so I'm just gonna shrink them down a little bit until we know exactly what size to make them. And then so what you're gonna wanna do is go onto Google and you're gonna want to search Polaroid PNG transparent. And then it does show up a bunch of options right here but I'm gonna click on images to see more. And basically what you're looking for are the ones that have kind of like a gray and white checkered background because that's how you know it's going to be transparent. So say I didn't like any of the Polaroid backgrounds that my iPhone apps gave me, I can just go into Google and pick anything that I want. So say I really liked this black and white one, I could choose that one. This one says love. This one's pretty popular because it has like a little travel flag on the back. So I'm going to pick this black and white one and we are going to save the image. I am just going to save them onto my desktop because to me that's the easiest way to find them. And then I'm going to go back to PowerPoint and I'm going to say insert a picture from my file desktop. And then those are the ones that I just saved. So then I'm going to insert those onto here. And as you can see, for some reason, they don't always turn out transparent, which is kind of annoying, but I'll show you how to fix it. So we're going to click remove background and then mark the areas to keep. And I'm just going to click on the black areas. So as you can see, this is kind of tedious work, but usually they are transparent and I'll show you how to do those as well. As you can see, once I hit um, keep changes, it looks like there aren't any white lines in between, but the white is the background, so it should be fine. So say I want to put my picture of me on my bed inside this Polaroid. So to make sure I have the right size, I'm going to insert one of the Polaroids that I made on my phone because those are actual Polaroid sizes. So I'm going to insert the ones that I made on my phone, as you can see, and then I can use it kind of as a template to what size I should make these other ones to. So if you use the Nomo app, you can see that once I downloaded it onto my computer, there was a white border. So I'm just gonna be cropping that out so that I just have the Polaroid. And then as you can see, the two that I made from my phone are about the exact same size. So now I'm just gonna resize the ones that I added on here to match those. 
So as you can see, this one from my bed doesn't quite fit, so I'm just going to try to crop it enough so that it does fit inside pretty well. Okay, so as you can see, I got them to fit pretty well inside. So that was kind of a lot of work to do if you do have to get rid of the background, but say I would find a transparent one on Google, which you can very easily do, I will show you, and it's way easier to do that way. Okay, so this one that I found actually turned out to be transparent, so I will link this one in the description. So basically, if you do find one that's transparent just like this, you're just gonna wanna do the same thing and you're gonna wanna fit it to the same size as the other Polaroids you have, because if you're gonna make a Polaroid wall, you want them to all be the same size, otherwise, it's not gonna look good so once I have shrunk it to size what I'm gonna want to do is make sure that it's over the picture that I already have inserted and to do that all you have to do is say bring to the front just like that and then as you can see these are really simple ways to make fake Polaroids on my computer screen right now I have the first picture as an a picture that I added from the instance app the second picture is from the nomo app and then the third and fourth one are from Google so all you have to do is print these at your local library or at your house if you have a printer and then cut them out and then you can decorate them however you want now I would suggest buying cardstock paper because Polaroids can be usually pretty thick these actually on my wall are paper thin I just printed them on normal printing paper and obviously they look fine on camera but if you actually feel them they're just paper thin and you can just definitely tell they're fake. My suggestion would be to buy cardstock paper. It's pretty cheap at Walmart or Amazon. And then all you have to do is print these onto those and cut them out and it's gonna be way more of a durable paper. Another trick that I have seen people do is actually add book tape to both sides of the paper to make the picture look more glossy like a normal Polaroid would look. So I'm gonna finish off this video by talking about a couple ways that you can decorate using your Polaroids. Obviously, what you could do is decorate your room in many different ways. So like for me, you could just make a cute little Polaroid wall. A lot of people buy a little decor to put on top, like a half moon, a star, or just like some hanging lights to decorate it. Another way you could use Polaroids to decorate is actually on your laptop case. My suggestion would be to buy like a clear one so you could put the Polaroids under the clear laptop case and it would look really slick and aesthetic. Speaking of using them in a case, you can also use it as a phone case. So I have a clear phone case and then I have a Polaroid behind it. This is a really cute way to have a really cute case and never have to actually change your case if you want. And that way you kind of feel like you're getting a new case but really you're just keeping the same case but changing the Polaroid picture. Another cute way that I have seen Polaroids be decorated in a room is around a doorway. I think it's really cute to put it like around your closet door, or even the door entrance to your room. Another way you could use them is on school supplies. I've seen this all over the place in college. People put them simply just in their binders because obviously in the front of binders you have that clear paper or that clear little covering. So all you have to do is slip the Polaroids in there and that looks really aesthetic and cute for your school supplies. And lastly, another idea I have is for scrapbooking. So I think scrapbooking and just like journaling and general has become super popular and all you have to do is just buy like a simple scrapbook at Walmart or even Amazon but it's also a really great way to keep memories so yeah that is the end of this video of how you make any picture into a Polaroid without having a Polaroid camera if you guys have any questions on how I make these from my phone or my laptop just leave them in the comments I will be looking at obviously all the comments and answering to anyone who has questions again I will try and find as many transparent um, PNGs that I can find on Google and I will link them in the description so that you don't have to worry about getting rid of the background. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, thank you. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that and obviously leave any comments, questions, video requests you have in the comments and then I will respond to you for sure. If you liked this video and want to see more of me, I have a couple videos that I made previously in the description box. Otherwise, you can always hit the subscribe button and the notification button if you want to see more of me on your feed. I had a lot of fun making this how-to video, so if you want to see more, please give me any requests because I don't know what exactly you guys want to see, but I would love to make them. As always, my social media is linked in the description. I am most active on Visco and Instagram. If you guys want to see more of my daily life, feel free to give me a follow on those. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.